The Cohawks would do damage early on in Game 1 by tallying up three runs in the first inning and another three in the second. In the bottom of the third, Warburg's Linnea Haler singled to right field and then made it to second thanks to a sacrifice bunt from Stacey Kaiser. However, Haler would be left on base after a pop-up from Lynn Highcamp. Moving on to the fourth inning, Emily Brame walked and Lauren Povov singled to left field. J.C. Smith then singled to left field and bases would be loaded for Haler. Haler reached on fielder's choice as Sam Kunselman was forced out at third. Co's pitcher Ashley Simon came up with a big fifth inning, striking out Kaiser, Heitkamp, and Brame. In the sixth inning, Co came up with a few big hits from Emily Painard and Ashley Hood. However, the Knights would get out of it with two Cohawks left on base. The seventh inning would look the same for the Knights, and Co shut out Warburg in game one, six to nothing. In game two on Saturday, the first two innings were quick with only one hit and no runs. It wasn't until the third inning when Coe's bat started connecting with Popov's pitches. Maggie Whitestein started things off by singling to left field. Then with two outs, Callie Morningstar singled to center field, scoring Whitestein. Abby Flanagan then singled to right, but she got to second on a fielding error and Morningstar scored. Shannon Aguero doubled to right center, scoring Flanagan, and Brandy Height came up with a double to left center, sending Aguero across home plate. Cohawks up 4 to nothing at that point. The fourth inning would be another killer for the Knights and pitcher Sam Kunselman. Whitestein doubled to left field and then Hood singled to right field, scoring Whitestein. Amanda Hansen then doubled to left field and Hood made it across home plate. Morningstar would connect with a single and after a wild pitch, Hansen scored. After four innings, Coe was leading 7 to nothing. In the bottom of the fourth, Heikamp singled to center field and Brame doubled to left center. Two outs later, the Knights left two on base. Coe would end it in the fifth inning, scoring two more runs. With these two losses, the Knights dropped to 8-20 overall and 0-6 in Iowa Conference play. 